We made it to Colorado Springs, you guys, and we're about to go find my son and daughter-in-law and the grandbaby at Shields Sporting Goods Store, all sports store, whatever it's called. Look at, it's enormous. But let's be real, I'm here to see that baby. this aquarium. How great is that? Oh, we found you. Hi, Atreus. You be shy, boy. That's my boy right here. Hi, Jasper. Good to see you. What's up, little buddy? <laughs> He's a little overwhelmed. He loves looking at Hi. Hi. Hi, how are you? Oh, so good. I love these tanks. I know. I was like, no wonder they wanted to bring the baby here. This is. It's like a free trip to the aquarium. Yeah, it's amazing. Does he look at the fish? Yeah, he looks at it. more. The whole overall thing, huh? I think you like the bell is the more modern she's Yeah. Wow. Oh my the Ferris God. wheel over there, and there's an upstairs oh. too. Has he ever ridden the Ferris wheel? He's never done anything. Oh. He's a COVID baby. This is the biggest store he's ever been in. We should line. take him on the Ferris wheel. We right? should, but Daddy has to hold him because he's here. Oh my gosh, the Ferris wheel is huge. Oh my, the sun comes out. Gerber baby. Baby's first time. Oh, that's just your size, huh, Atreus? Yay! Good job. Yeah. He's being trained by the men in the sporting goods store. I should have known this would happen. <laughs> Can you imagine? That would be such a bad day. If you ever had that angle. That would be the last day. No. Oh, God. That's a good instinct, I guess. Who's that? What? That's like Grandpa Mike, huh? <laughs> He wants the sign. <laughs> Look at that guy. He's you want to play with him? He's a nice. You don't mind that one. Scared of the bear, but not scared of the goblin. There's no natural all. instinct to be afraid of a goblin. Okay, I'm afraid. They haven't been around in a long time, you know. Either so. that, or he's already seen them on video games, and he's like, "Oh, those guys are cool." He's like, "Those guys are super easy level one." Like, right? <laughs> no, no problem. Honestly, terribly. He's just smiling. He likes it because Daddy's touching it. Oh, he's nervous about the bears again. Did you see that face? Wow. Oh, he got the bear. The bear again. The dinosaur doesn't bother no him. Bears. It's the goblin doesn't bother him, but the he's bear. Like, yeah, no, those no are fake. Bears. But that bear, I don't know. Look at those javelina fangs. The race is on. He's going back. He's like me. He wants to like. I think I need a shot, guys. Where are you going? He's like, Hold on. Which one do you want? Here. I'm just gonna go round and around. We're coming with you. I got you. Dada. <laughs> da. That's a good boy. Go, baby, go. Oh yeah, Mike's definitely gonna play this game. One for the moving targets. Score 1220. All right. I don't know if that's high or low. Good job. Colorado! Oh, look, there's the best things in Colorado. Who's hanging out with Grandpa over there? It's my little buddy. I know, you already have a little buddy. My phone and taste test real fast, see if it's any good. You want to wear it to you? It's good on you. Oh, it's so big! So nice. A tree so, nice. so handsome! Um, oh. <laughs> my hat? Yeah, he's got to fix it. This isn't right. 
He knows the right <laughs> way. He said, gosh, you guys are not good at putting on hats. Like that right there. <laughs> Your little snapper. And he lost <laughs> weight in one of his appointments, and I was like, what? Because <laughs> he's so active. Yes, he just, he really doesn't stop much, you know? He's got stuff to do, apparently. Mostly just run around and chew on train tracks. <laughs> <Cute>. <laughs> <laughs> He's just having a good time with Grandpa. <laughs> Back to the hat game. Put Whose hat? Head. You Put got Grandpa's hat. Put it on your head. So no, that's your that's hat. Grandpa's hat. <laughs> Put it on the face. Put it on your face, Grandpa. Where's Grandpa? <laughs> Ready? Oh, what are you doing in there? Get, get, get my hat back. What's Grandma doing? You guys, we spent all day hanging out with the kids and playing with the grandkid, and only now do I realize that I never actually introduced you. So I promise I'll do better again tomorrow. We were just baby struck. Yeah, we were baby struck. It was baby love. He's such a little cherub. Yeah, it was really fun hanging out all day. Right now, we're just anxious to get back to the bus and just relax and unwind and be mellow for a while because for the last couple of weeks, it's been really hectic. I guess ever since our car broke down and things just got crazy and busy and just more hectic than you would expect from life on the road. We live in a bus and neither one of us works and we feel like we need a day off. <laughs> yeah. Traveling in a bus isn't like... It's not a 100% no, like vacation. The novelty wears off super fast and then, and then it's like, okay, it's a travel day. Uh, it's a lot of work. Yeah, getting the, cleaning the bus up, getting ready to go all those things. And then the stress of the drive and all the things that have to happen, getting gas, getting groceries, doing laundry, dumping, dumping filling. Yeah. yeah. There's a lot, a lot goes into it. Like bus life is, it's not easier than home life by any means. No, living at home is much easier than bus life, but a lot less adventurous. Yeah. Like, okay, tomorrow, awesome hiking in store. It's going to be cool. And then the next day, uh, myself and her son are going to do something awesome, but I don't want to give it away, but yeah. it's going to be cool. And we're going to take you guys along on this one. Yeah. We're going to show you some of the fun things to do around Colorado Springs. That's right. very nice that we got this spot because the trees here and so cute she's not even scared she just like she doesn't wait for you to stick your hand out yeah, she comes like, up hey, to you I'm and happy. asks for it right yeah like hey i'm here you who we're on our way to helen hunt falls or i guess i should say we're at helen hunt falls today Probably not that Helen Hunt. Not sure yet, <laughs> looking it up. I don't yet. We're gonna know. have to Google search. I'm Thank you, Google. Okay. So this is my son, Jasper, Hello. and his son, Atreus, and the wife and mom over here, Gabby. So you guys finally get to meet my family. Yeah. We're super excited to be here hanging out with everybody and getting to spend time with the grandson. He's at the cutest age right now. And look at how beautiful it is where we're at. up the trail now to see where it leads. Just kidding. <laughs> Quit monkeying around, Mike. Look, if I can't be myself, who can I be? <laughs> Good point. Whoa. I shouldn't film and walk at the same time. Those little strawberries? I don't know. Raspberries, maybe? Would yeah, they, they would have to be raspberries because strawberries grow yeah, on strawberries the ground. They're just round berries. They're not raspberries yeah, at all. Like We've been using uh, on the smartphone, uh, at least on ours, they use Google Lens. 
So oh, you yeah, like take a picture and you hold on and to it. And Google, Google searches for, for sim similar images. You don't have to type words. So like I've been identifying trees with that. That's really That's cool. That's cool, yeah. Since I don't have any kind of nature. Oh, book. you should be able to let him down right here. There's a fence. Yeah, you That's can. Right right Mama watching. You toddle around a little. Oh, in that spot he could, huh? <laughs> right where the dogs went, like right. no. What's what you buddy? doing, big boy? It's not your size water slide, not he at sure all. sure is a cute That's little fella. Good job, go get grandma. <laughs> 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 A little stomper. Oh, you let go? Yeah. The berry identification is in progress now. Ooh, they're weird little things. Rose hip. That's rose hips? I think so. Maybe, huh? It That's has it thorns. Like. Thorns on the stem. That sounds rose hippie. Is there a rose berry? <laughs> Well, rose hips are red. They make rose hip tea. You know what dried cranberries look like? Yeah. yeah dried dried rose hips look a lot like dried cranberries. Here. Yeah, that's what so they are. So that's actually rose Here. hips. Oh, look, and these ones are even beginning to dry and shrivel up, and that's yeah. starting to look like what rose hips look like if you buy a box of tea in a health food store. It's really interesting. Cool, we learn something new every day. It's a lot harder to climb when this little stud. I bet it is. It's like what it would have been for you to climb before you lost all that weight. <laughs> but you had to carry your weight, <laughs> like literally. How much does he weigh now? Almost 30 pounds. Oh my gosh, that is how much Mike has lost, 30 yeah. pounds. He said there's a deer right up here on your right hand side. Yeah. Oh, there's the deer right there. Look, Trace, look. There's a deer. Look, what's that? What's that? What's that? Wow, that's cool, man. National Schooly Graphic unfolding right in front of you. That's at right, Helen everybody. Falls. This guy is not afraid of people at all. There you go, little buddy. You'll sneak right out. Have some you. time stomping around. You're right, though. This is like nature's playpen right now. Yeah, this is the perfect playpen for Atreus. You know, just tow it all the way up. Like, you're just walking. Yeah, well, because you couldn't put your heel down. Oh, he found the one place that a baby could escape from. We should have known. What's up, buddy? How are you doing? Don't mind us. Like, he's right there. Like, zero zoom here. He's, what do you think? 15 yards? I bet you he's eating the rose hips. Oh, yeah. Bet Just you like anything. Those on a <laughs> That's right, little afternoon. Hi, T. I don't want to walk anymore. I'm sitting down, and that's it. Atreus is Had it. Ooh. That was the easiest <laughs> hike of your life, huh? <laughs> wow. Yeah.
to catch up on the cartoons. Right, Atreus? That's right, buddy. It's cartoon toon time. time. High five. High, high five, five, Grandpa. Come on, high five. Yeah. Good yeah. job, buddy. High five. Good job. Oh, you moved your hand down. <laughs> Guess what time it is? Mail time. Mail time. Mail time. The mail's here. Mail Come on. Bye guys. We got cool packages. That's open. And this is one from a long time ago. So yes. we just barely got it because it's been waiting in our post office. So we're pretty excited for this. Wait, read what it says. Magic hour where anything is possible. What? I know I'm dying to open it. this ceremonial teas made, made with, with love. love thank you from our hearts to yours for being part of our mission to connect the world through the magic of tea i can smell it is it like a glass jar of actual tea is this like it's fancy super fancy schmancy tea kind of seems like it look to at me. that it's a glass <gasps> stopper I didn't know Look tea could even be this fancy. Did you guys even know this existed? Wow, this is a really fancy. Oh my gosh. You know what this reminds me of looking at it? How it looks like potpourri-ish? Oh, it kind of smells like it too. I was a nanny for a woman um, who was from Sweden or she was Swedish and she went to Sweden. And when she came back, she brought me, it wasn't a jar though, it was a bag of tea, but it was, Similar to this. How neat, huh? Can, it says one teaspoon for one cup. Steep up to four times. Wow. That, this is the most fancy tea thing I've ever seen. So I wish I knew who sent this. I know. There was say, no indication because it was just sent from... And I'll have like, to go through like all of our uh, correspondence with people because someone may have mentioned it. I may have forgot or something. But... Whoever this was, you guys are awesome and thank, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, whoever you are, this is really neat fancy. and greatly appreciated. Very oh, I can't wait to have tea this I know, evening. right? <laughs> <laughs> this evening. Hey, mister. You better stop making a mess in here. All right. Well, we already know who this is from. Yeah. This is from our boy, Kevin Kay. Our good buddy in England. He really wrapped this one up because it's got duct tape. In America... If you try to put duct tape on a package, they'll refuse it. Did you know that? Why? Um, they don't want duct tape in their machines and in their everything. I did not know that. Isn't that something? So if you're a reader of our comments, you know that Kevin K comments on every video and he is from England. So we get really great surprises from him too. Oh, got? more new teas for me. Look at it. It's a tea day. It is tea day. Yay, we're restocking our tea cupboard. I look, more of our English breakfast tea. Afternoon. Oh, we have an English breakfast tea and an afternoon tea now. Who knew? I wonder what the real difference is. We'll have to taste it, find out. Oh, look, we got a magnet from London. Nice. Oh, make, That's make that super cool. Dose. Another one. Oh, my gosh. That oh, is wait. cool. We're not done yet. Oh, we have the whole collection. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we got here? Oh, this is cool. <gasps> oh. There's another one of whatever it is. Oh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Look. My bestie. Oh my gosh, look you guys. Turn it over. <laughs> Kevin, you rock, man. How cool is that? that was neat. These are really fancy schmancy. Yeah. I love it. Wow, thank you. Oh, that wait. is so neat. Hold on, back on the magnet band. Oh me. my gosh. <laughs> the magnet collection is growing. These are really cool, actually. Okay, check this out. It's our next one. Ooh. Strawberry orange marmalade and black currant preserves. For tea time, obviously. 
and you can tell my age, I keep being farther away from it trying to read the label. Do you want me to read that old lady? No, I got it. I was just checking <laughs> it out. All right, awesome. next we've got some Cadbury. Ooh, old Jamaica dark chocolate rum and oh, we've we've had the rum and raisin before. We know about this now. What is this? Fruit and nut. Ooh, I'm gonna like that one. And everybody knows I'm a chocoholic. I love that everyone knows that. Oh, Kitty Crack for Mom and Kitty. Mama Sita's favorite. She goes nuts on this stuff. I know. She crawls up on us <clears throat> trying to get this stuff. It's, oh wow. So. I've seen this bridge before. Oh, in movies. Yeah, this is the uh, Harry Potter train, actually. Oh, wow. If I remember correctly. Probably. People something people wait that. around with their drones to try to get a picture of this all the time. I don't know. Glen Finnan Viaduct. How do you say it? Scotland. Dear Mike and Carrie, this is the first time I've ever done anything like a pledge of money. He is a he is a, a patron a, he's one of our patrons. from across the seas. Yes. How cool is that? It's the first time I've done anything like yes. a pledge of and money to anyone. Thank anywhere. you for that as well, Kevin and family. Well, I watched that first video of yours where you cut out the place for the silver side boxes, and I was impressed by that and the time that was taken to explain everything. I've never missed a video, and both of you were so honest and upfront about it. That was and our second video <laughs> ever. I know, we have never met and probably won't, but you both are very special to me. Yes, Carrie, we do use the words bestie, and I consider you both my besties, and it's my pleasure to be able to pledge a small amount of money to try and help a bit. Oh, I wish it was more. Cool. I no, wish... every little bit adds up. Mike, you always amaze me by tackling any job on your on your bus that it needs and carry your artwork was brilliant. The shower mosaic was so good and your ref Reflectix idea for the windows was really good. You both are special people. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the contents of the box. The tea is Old English and the little pots are made by an Old English company. I think the company is 134 years old. Wilkin and Sons Limited. I hope Carrie tries the marmalade on her toast one morning. Well, for take sure. care of both of you. I look forward to seeing you. Much love to you both, Kevin. Kevin, you, know what? you like our, our I don't think too. I've ever even had orange marmalade before in my life. Really? But there was a song about it on Sesame Street when I was a little girl, so I've always wanted to try it. Thank you, Kevin. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we really appreciate this. This I have to say I think this is my favorite though. Yeah, that's the matching cool. keychains is really, really cool. That's so well nice. and tied with the I don't know. It's just really great getting a package from afar like this. It's really neat. Kevin, you're we feel thank your you, love. Buddy. Thank totally, you very much. Awesome. And we send ours back to you. Totally. Take care <laughs> of right. yourself. Keep it exercise and walk around a lot. It's good for you. <laughs> Ever the health nut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. We'll see you next time. Bye, guys. First taste of orange marmalade on an English muffin. Mmm. 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 I don't know what it tastes like without butter, but the flavor of the butter and orange marmalade together is sublime. So delicious. Mm-hmm.